Welcome to the Philippine Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Butch Gamboa. Here's a menu of some of our features on this edition of your TV and online electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market, the compact SUV from MINI, the Countryman Cooper D, and a subcompact sedan from Suzuki, the Swift. We'll also have a glimpse of some of the latest automobile models and concept cars from around the world. This week, we have the 2018 Ford Ranger Raptor and the 2019 GMC Sierra Denali, plus a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two pickups from Toyota and Ford, the Hilux Conquest and the Ranger Wildtrak. Together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the recently held Toyota Ride and Drive as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Auto Focus, and we'll be right back after this short break. Introducing the all-new Mitsubishi Expander. Gotta go, guys. above your limits. See the horizon as a starting point. Use each obstacle to gain momentum. Make the unknown routine. Continue where all others stop. New Peugeot SUV range. Never have SUVs gone so far. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from MINI. The 2018 MINI Countryman Cooper D has shocked a lot of MINI car enthusiasts because for one, it's not as small as a typical MINI and it's not the same from what the public has gotten used to. In this week's car review, we'll find out what makes this compact SUV a game changer on its own. Watch this. This is the Mini Countryman Cooper D, and before we proceed to checking out what the eyes could easily see, let's first explore the engine. The Cooper D variant runs in a 2-liter diesel engine that gives out 150 PS of power and 330 newton meters of torque. These generous engine figures are mated with an inline four-cylinder layout along with an eight-speed automatic transmission. This powertrain layout allows the Cooper D to perform nicely on the road. For the Cooper D suspension, it uses a McPherson strut type at the front and a multi-link type at the rear. It uses a simple setup, sure, but it doesn't make the car perform poorly when faced with road imperfections. Additionally, this setup supports the Cooper D's body size of 4,299 by 1,822 
by 1,557 millimeters. Now on to the more exciting parts, the exteriors and interiors. Looking at the design of the Cooper D, it has those practical roof rails that can accommodate extras, such as a roof rack and stylish covers. You also have a choice to have your mirrors, windows, and roof in black if you opt to keep a low profile. The Cooper D also comes with an impressive set of 18-inch pair spoke light alloy wheels. Meanwhile, inside the Cooper D, the seats are wrapped in a combination of cloth and leather upholstery, giving the car a likewise elegant feel. This car is equipped with a standard automatic climate control, which is nevertheless convenient for a passenger of five. Height adjustment for the front passenger seat is also available, as well as for the rear seats. What highlights the interiors of the Cooper D is its mini center instrument that comes with AM FM, six speakers, and 480 watt amplifier with aux, Bluetooth, and USB connectivity. When it comes to the safety and security, the Countryman D is equipped with the needed standard features. To name a few, it comes with six airbags, smart key, anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, stability control, and hill start assist. The Cooper D is basically that mini car that many couldn't get enough of. It seems a bit low key for its nameplate, but a mini is a mini and a Cooper D doesn't fall short of things to offer. The mini country band Cooper D is basically that mini car that many couldn't get enough of. It seems a bit low key for its nameplate, but a mini is a mini and the Cooper D doesn't fall short of things to offer. That's it for our featured model of this week's Car Review. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. When thinking of your favorite car brands and models, which brands and models immediately come to mind? Could it be a fuel-efficient sedan for that everyday drive? A sleek and agile sports car? A rugged and versatile SUV? That roomy and comfortable MPV or van? Or that versatile go-anywhere pickup? Be a part of the 2018-2019 Autofocus People's Choice Awards! Vote for the brands and models that will become the 2018-2019 Autofocus Automobiles of the Year in the standard and premium luxury classes. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph to vote every day until September 30, 2018 and get a chance to win prizes in the daily raffle. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose. You decide. Be comfortable when you're out of your comfort zone and embrace a wider world of adventure. BRV, rise above your limits. Gotta go, guys. Nagpapa ka na si Flashy. Flash, miss you. Can't wait to see you in your car. Flash, parang may sumusunod sa akin. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. 
Motil is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has anti-oxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph or visit Autoplus Sports Zentrium located along EDSA, across Wide Plains. Be part of the 2018 to 2019 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph slash AFPCA 2018. Then, vote for as many as five different car models that you believe should become the 2018 to 2019 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard premium luxury categories. Vote every day until September 30, 2018. And get a chance to win prizes in the daily raffle and the following major prizes in the grand raffle to be held right after the voting deadline. Third prize, Vivo Y53C. Second prize, Huawei Nova 2 Lite. Grand prize, Samsung J8. The Auto Focus People's Choice Awards. Who win? You choose. You decide. Vote now. Welcome back to Autofocus, and we now have the latest auto industry news. Honda Cars Philippines Incorporated recently introduced the new 2018 HRV updated with modern sporty styling cues and advanced technology features, which aim to give customers a stylish, capable crossover with flexible utility and convenience elements expected from a Honda. For 2018, the new HRV will now have a new 1.8 RS Navi variant that will satisfy customers looking for an enhanced sporty compact SUV. Tonight, we launched a new uh, Honda HLV. We have two variants for new HLV. One is the eCVT, but at the same time, we newly launched the RS version of HLV. It is very stylish, sporty. Our customer can enjoy a lot about the driving new HLV, I think. Especially, it has good exterior design for front and the rear design. And also, we change the front grille, front light, and the rear light. At the same time, we also change the design of the wheel. So, as such, you can enjoy a lot about the new design of the HLV Alice variant. Powering the new HRV is Honda's 1.8-liter SOHCI VTEC engine that produces a maximum power of 142 PS and 17.5 kgm of torque, mated to a continuously variable transmission developed based on Honda's Earth Dreams technology. According to Honda, the engine and transmission provide responsive performance, acceleration, and improved fuel efficiency. あの、HRV はもともと持っている良さがあって、それはやはりあの、え、このユーティリティとま、クーペというあの、クーペのようなパーソナルな空間というものを持っているという良さがあります。Thank you very much customers. Uh we are very pleased to launch a new HRV for the Philippine market. Please come and see uh, our new HRV in our dealership. Thank you very much. Meanwhile, Ford Philippines recently launched the new EcoSport Mini SUV at the SMX in SM Aura in Bonifacio Global City, and it was announced that it will be available in all dealerships nationwide starting on August 29, 2018. According to Ford, the new EcoSport features enhancements in exterior and interior design, new upgraded smart and safety features, and driver assist technology and improvements in driving performance and fuel efficiency powered by a 1.0 liter eco boost engine and a new and more powerful 1.5 twin independent variable camshaft timing engine producing 125 and 123 horsepower respectively 
Tonight is a great event for us because Ford Philippines is launching a brand new redesigned EcoSport uh, in the market right now. And so we invite the customer to go to visit it. But it's an important vehicle for us because it's a segment in Philippines that is growing faster and faster because customers are looking more to a car side type of passenger car side size type of vehicle and at the same time getting the high ground clearance of a, of a SUV which the EcoSport provides. It comes this year with a brand new powertrain engine with a six-speed transmission coupled to a brand new one-liter turbo engine or EcoBoost engine that delivers more power, more fun to drive and a more fuel economy. So it combines both what we need to have and what the customer wants here. We launched that type of vehicle in 2014 here in Philippines and we almost create the segment of that side of the mini SUV. We had 94% of the segment. Yes, believe it or not, we had 94% of the segment at that time. So we almost created that segment. And today, despite the fact that there's 10 competitors, strong competitors in that segment, we still lead it in 2017. We finish at almost 50% of the segment. So that type of vehicle is exactly what the uh, Filipinos customer needs and wants. And we're coming with a redesign of that and with new future and new powertrain to make it more fun to drive. So we're pretty proud of that. Continuing, the first batch of Nissan Terras have arrived in the Philippines, launched in the country last May, and a test drive held on different terrains in Pampanga. The Nissan Terra is one of the most anticipated SUVs, especially in a market that received seven-seat SUVs with arms wide open. According to Nissan Philippines, the initial batch of the Nissan Terra will consist of over 2,000 units and have already begun to arrive in the Philippines from Thailand where the Terra is manufactured. Nissan executives say that they will begin releasing the Terra to dealers nationwide by the third week of August. The dealerships will then contact their clients so they can get their new vehicles. And finally, the all-new Volvo XC60 SUV is already available in the Philippines, has a new advanced driver assistance features aimed at keeping the driver out of trouble. According to Volvo, the new safety features are designed to provide the driver with automatic steering assistance or support when required to help to avoid potential collisions. Volvo believes that these new features will make the new XC60 one of the safest cars on the road. City safety has been updated in the XC60 to include steering support, which engages when automatic braking alone would not help avoid a potential collision. In such circumstances, the car will provide steering assistance to avoid the obstacle ahead. City safety helps to avoid collisions with vehicles, pedestrians, and large animals. Steering support is active between 50 and 100 kilometers per hour. Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine, takes another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. It's back! Participate in the only public poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. Vote for your favorite car makes and models in the 2018-2019 Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph to vote every day until September 30, 2018 and get a chance to win prizes in the daily raffle. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Which models do you think will become this year's Automobile of the Year in the Standard and Premium Luxury Class? You choose. You decide. Ah, the things that make my day. My mini-me. My kind of jam. My passion. My blend of coffee. my inspiration. That's all good with the all-new Vios. My Vios. My Drive. 
Your weekly window to the world of business and guide to the good life can now be watched online. Just click on businessandleisure.ph and watch this week's show and other past episodes of Business and Leisure at your most convenient time of the day. Business and Leisure is now on the web. Watch it anytime. Be comfortable when you're out of your comfort zone and embrace a wider world of adventure. BRV, rise above your limits. Part of the 2018-2019 Autofocus People's Choice Awards. The only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph slash AFPCA 2018. Then, vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2018-2019 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate, standard, and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until September 30, 2018 and get a chance to win prizes in the daily raffle. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose. You decide. Vote now. Welcome back to this edition of Autofocus, the country's premier automobile TV and online magazine. Here's our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category on Head to Head. In this week's Head to Head, it's a competition between two of the most sought-after models in the country's pickup segment, the Toyota Hilux and the Ford Ranger Wild Track. If you're a big fan of the two and you couldn't decide which one to go for, watch this. The Hilux Conquest and the Ford Ranger for sure have their differences and similarities. Before we go to specifics, let's check out the car's powertrain. The Hilux Conquest is powered by a 2.8-liter diesel engine that produces 177 horsepower and 450 newton-meters of torque. Conquest turbocharged four-cylinder diesel engine is also coupled with a four-wheel drive system in a six-speed manual transmission. Meanwhile, the Ranger Wild Track runs on a 2.2-liter Duratorque TDCI engine that delivers 160 horsepower and 385 newton meters of torque. It comes with a six-speed automatic transmission, which is calibrated to maximize performance, refinement, and efficiency. Talking about the suspension setup, the Hilux Conquest and the Ranger Wild Track both use a double wishbone at the front and leaf spring at the rear. This setup is pretty simple, but it yields an even better ride. Time to check out the exteriors and interiors of the cars. The Hilux Conquest bears a bold look. Aside from its grille design and sports bar, the LED headlights with daytime running lights, bed liner, and front bumper provide the Conquest a more commanding presence. Also, the Conquest takes on the road with its 18-inch alloy wheels. On the other hand, the Ranger Wild Track's appearance gives plenty of presence. The grille makes for an eye-catching front end, while the bumper, side steps, and sports bar add to the stylish yet functional feel of the utility vehicle as a touring package. Hopping into the car's interiors, you will be greeted with the black trim pieces with metal accent inside the Hilux Conquest. Just like the exteriors, the premium black trim inside defines its bold look. Not to mention that the seats are wrapped in a decent fabric material. The Conquest can seat up to five passengers with enough space at the back for three people. What's more outstanding about the interiors of the Conquest is that it is equipped with automatic climate control with rear vents. 
hydraulic steering and tilt steering column, push start button, and power windows. The interior of the Conquest is further highlighted by its infotainment system with navigation. It is equipped with a 6.5-inch capacitive touchscreen that comes with six speakers and is available through Bluetooth, USB, and AUX connectivity. Meanwhile, the Wildtrak has a striking hand-stitch and crafted look to the inside of its cabin. What's more prominent as you climb inside is the Big Man Dash, spanned into the space between the driver's side door to front passenger door. The clean layout incorporating the center panel has a real substantial feel to it and is well suited to the tough truck persona this Ranger aims to convey inside and out. What makes the Wildtrak more special is that it is equipped with Ford's latest generation SYNC 3 with navigation infotainment system. It comes with a comprehensive suite of integrated navigation functions accessible via the 8-inch touchscreen that offers clear icons and convenient multi-touch gestures and a wide range of voice commands. When it comes to safety features, the Hilux Conquest and the Ranger Wildtrak are equipped with reliable features. The Hilux Conquest comes with Hill Start Assist, Anti-Lock Braking System with Electronic Brake Force Distribution, and six airbags, among other standard safety features. Conquest also guarantees security as it has a keyless entry feature. And it is also equipped with central locking, an alarm, and an immobilizer. To ensure the safety of the passengers, the Wildtrak comes with numerous driver assist technologies aside from the standard feature. It includes adaptive cruise control with forward collision warning alert, lane departure warning, lane keep assist, driver impairment monitor, trailer sway control, and a tire pressure monitoring system. Being a fan of both Toyota Hilux Conquest and Ford Ranger Wildtrak must be hard, given that both cars are proven to be game changers in their segment. Whatever you choose, Rest assured that you're choosing a good one. Those were the Toyota Hilux Conquest and the Ford Ranger Wildtrak, our featured models in this week's Head to Head. More about the automobile here in Autofocus as we usher in our segment featuring the Autos of the World, spotlighting concept cars as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobiles from around the world. For your exciting viewing on this edition of your Automobile Electronic Magazine, we have the 2018 Ford Ranger Raptor. Let's watch this. Ford recently confirmed that the new Ranger Raptor, the toughest and most high-performing version ever of Europe's best-selling pickup, is storming into Europe as the bold new model debuted at the Gamescom trade fair in Cologne, Germany. Developed by Ford Performance for the true enthusiast off-roader, the first ever Ranger Raptor will go on sale to thrill-seeking customers in Europe in mid-2019, powered by a bi-turbo version of Ford's 2.0-liter EcoBlue diesel engine that delivers 21 3PS and 500 Newton meters of torque, and Ford's new 10-speed automatic gearbox. The commanding presence delivered by the Ultimate Ranger's imposing dimensions and extreme styling is supported by a unique Ford Performance chassis, optimized for high-speed off-road driving and go-anywhere capability. Ford and Microsoft also today revealed that the new Ranger Raptor will feature in the new Forza Horizon 4 video racing game, giving even more performance driving fans the opportunity to experience the pickup's unprecedented capabilities. By launching the new Ford Ranger Raptor at Gamescom, Europe's biggest event of its kind, Ford became the first manufacturer to launch a new vehicle at the event. Striking, flare composite front fenders are designed to shrug off damage from off-road usage and to allow for longer suspension travel and oversized tires. The sidestep boards are designed specifically to prevent rock spray from hitting the rear of the truck and feature drain points for sand, mud, and snow. We'll have our special feature segment after we pause for another short break. I'll be right back.
When thinking of your favorite car brands and models, which brands and models immediately come to mind? Could it be a fuel-efficient sedan for that everyday drive? A sleek and agile sports car? A rugged and versatile SUV? That roomy and comfortable MPV or van? Or that versatile go-anywhere pickup? Be a part of the 2018 to 2019 Auto Focus People's Choice Awards. Vote for the brands and models that will become the 2018 to 2019 Auto Focus Automobiles of the Year in the Standard and Premium Luxury Class. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph to vote every day until September 30, 2018. And get a chance to win prizes in the Daily Raffle and the following major prizes in the Grand Raffle to be held right after the voting deadline. Third prize, Vivo Y53C. Second prize, Huawei Nova 2 Lite. Grand prize, Samsung J8. The Auto Focus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose, you decide. comfortable when you're out of your comfort zone and embrace a wider world of adventure. BRV, rise above your limits. Motoring Today is now on the web. Watch this episode or other past episodes of the country's longest running motoring program any time of the day by logging on to our website, motoringtoday.ph. Motoring Today is now online, just the click away. You. I'll miss you too. So, why are you back? I didn't want to miss you. Introducing the all-new Mitsubishi Expander. Be part of the 2018 to 2019 Auto Focus People's Choice Awards. The only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph slash AFPCA 2018. Then, Vote for as many as five different car models that you believe should become the 2018 to 2019 Auto Focus Automobile of the Year in separate standard premium luxury categories. Vote every day until September 30, 2018. And get a chance to win prizes in the Daily Raffle. And the following major prizes in the Grand Raffle to be held right after the voting deadline. Third prize, Vivo Y53C. Second prize, Huawei Nova 2 Lite. Grand prize, Samsung J8. The Auto Focus People's Choice Awards. Who win? You choose. You decide. Vote now. Welcome back to Auto Focus. Our special feature is next. A drive up north is a great way to test and experience new cars. And that's what's exactly what Toyota Motor Philippines had in mind when they brought their motoring media friends all the way to the northern part of the country, aboard the newly launched all-new Vios. Here's what went down during the 2018 Vios Ride and Drive as this week's special feature. Watch this.
Toyota Motor Philippines, along with members of the motoring media, went on a three-day trip to the north for the 2018 Ride and Drive aboard the Vios. We're having our media uh, Ride and Drive event. This is in conjunction with the introduction of the all-new Vios. Um, we're actually, uh, we've invited close to 40 uh, media participants. In a true ride and drive fashion, as well as to make the road trip more fun and enjoyable, each group of four had their designated Vios cars. This is uh, to give opportunity for our uh, media to try out the all new Vios, uh, test drive it all the way from Manila to the north. The team's first agenda was to have a taste of Pampanga. With satisfied taste buds, the group then continued the road trip to La Union. Since the province is known for its beautiful waters, the team had a fun day by the beach. In order to test out the power of the all-new Vios, the team went all the way up to have a cozy retreat in Baguio during the last day of the trip. This is also a nice place actually to drive. So coming from Manila, you have the flat roads of the expressway, and then going up to Baguio, then you get to experience the uh, versatility of the vehicle and I, I guess to that experience we were able to find out really that anywhere you are anywhere you go may it be in the streets of Manila um, the speedway of Clark or going up Baguio uh, the Vios is a very good vehicle to to drive huh? according to Toyota the 2018 ride and drive was also a celebration of the fact that the Philippines is the only country in the world to have the exclusive variants of the Vios all new wheels. Uh, this is a completely new model. And this time we have created one new grade, Prime, G Prime, E Prime. These two grades is exclusively only for Philippines. No other countries is available this grade. So uh, Toyota Motor Philippines is very much confident because this model is developed only for Philippines market. The company also said that they take pride in the features of the all-new Vios, the G-Prime, and the E-Prime. This, for me, this Vios is the best Vios. Uh, of course, in the Philippines, is our uh, new generation. And you'd see that the Vios is really loaded with uh, such uh, a lot of uh, specifications, quite high-end. Not only in terms of safety, of course, in terms of safety, it has seven airbags and all those uh, 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 safety features, but also in terms of comfort and convenience. So, uh, in a sense, we can say that the Vios has really grown and it has really evolved, not really just being a basic vehicle of 10 years ago, but a, a real good vehicle that is really uh, appropriate for the current uh, usage of our uh, market. Toyota Motor Philippines is inviting all car enthusiasts out there to come check out the all-new Vios, especially the exclusive variants. So please come to the showroom and please see this prime, great prime by your own eyes. The 2018 Vios Ride and Drive may be over now, but the celebration of the arrival of the all-new Vios to the market continues as Toyota Motor Philippines has prepared surprises and activities for Vios enthusiasts. Up next is another exciting feature on Autos of the World. This time around, the 2019 GMC Sierra Denali. Let's watch this. The all-new 2019 Sierra set the new benchmark for capability, refinement, and innovation when introduced earlier this year. Now, the GMC Sierra Denali is arriving at dealerships and strengthening GMC's position as the preeminent brand for premium truck buyers. Denali is the flagship of the next generation Sierra lineup, distinguished by iconic design cues and segment-leading technologies. It leads a broader, bolder range of precisely engineered trucks, including new AT4 and elevation models, developed for the segment's most discerning customers. Along with its new bold design and premium features, the next generation Sierra Denali ups the ante in the segment with exclusive ride and handling and performance technologies designed to deliver a seamless balance of comfort, control, and technology. They include new adaptive ride control and the most powerful V8 engine available in its class. 
The new Sierra Denali is offered as a crew cab with nearly three inches of additional rear seat legroom compared to the previous model. The roomier cabin is trimmed with Denali exclusive materials, including premium forged leather appointed seating, authentic open pore wood trim, and dark finish aluminum decor. It's back. Participate in the only public poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. Vote for your favorite car makes and models in the 2018 to 2019 Auto Focus People's Choice Awards. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph to vote every day until September 30, 2018, and get a chance to win prizes in the daily raffle and the following major prizes in the grand raffle to be held right after the voting deadline. Third prize, Vivo Y53C. Second prize, Huawei Nova 2 Lite. Grand prize, Samsung J8. The Auto Focus People's Choice Awards. Which models do you think will become this year's Automobile of the Year in the Standard and Premium Luxury Class? You choose, you decide. Introducing the all-new Mitsubishi Expander. Ah, the things that make my day. My mini-me, my kind of jam. My passion, my blend of coffee. My inspiration. It's all good with the all new Vios. My Vios, my drive. See the horizon as a starting point. Use each obstacle to gain momentum. Make the unknown routine. Continue where all others stop. New Peugeot SUV range. Never have SUVs gone so far. Be part of the 2018-2019 Autofocus People's Choice Awards. The only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph slash AFPCA 2018. Then, vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2018-2019 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until September 30, 2018 and get a chance to win prizes in the daily raffle. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose. You decide. Vote now. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate here on Autofocus as we have our second car review this week. The Swift has always been one of Suzuki's best-selling models. Now in its fourth generation, the Swift continues to prove itself and remain on its place in the Philippine auto industry. 
Watch this. Innovative. Daring. Powerful. Stylish. Engineered completely with new chassis. Body structure and powertrain. Now made even swifter. The car that won the hearts of 5 million fans. It's going to make you go wow. Edgy both in looks and performance, the all-new Suzuki Swift blends style and innovation in a fun and sporty compact hatchback. An aggressive front grille with wide opening and red accent adds a fiercer look. It's lower, it's wider, combining a low center of gravity with a muscular form reflecting the Swift's powerful presence. The all-new Swift boasts a daring transformation while retaining old features that Filipinos have loved. Strong shoulders, blacked-out A pillars for wraparound windows, dynamic side window treatment, and distinctive vertically arranged lamps. Feel the speed of the all-new Swift with its lighter and more highly rigid body. A comprehensive overhaul of the underbody structure and component layout replaces the segmented frame of the previous platform with a continuous frame that increases underbody stiffness. This is Hardtech, Suzuki's new generation platform. The new frame efficiently disperses energy, enhancing collision safety while reducing noise and vibration. The new Swift's lighter body allows for smaller weight-saving brakes with a braking force that's the same as the previous Swift. The lower unsprung weight contributes to solid footwork. The D-shaped steering wheel creates a sense of speed, while its variable gear steering ration delivers direct response and quick action steering. Enjoy better fuel economy with the new Swift CVT which uses two opposing pulleys linked by a belt instead of changeable gears. This makes driving smoother and gear change shock-free, enabling better acceleration at low speeds and improved fuel economy at high speeds. The all-new Swift's compact dimensions make it easy to handle without compromising comfort. Its lowered seating positions provide riders 23 millimeters more vertical and lateral headspace for the rear seats. The front seats have been shifted 10 millimeters to the outside, creating more space between front seat occupants. The new Swift has 54 liters more luggage space than the previous Swift for a total of 265 liters. It also allows expanded storage capacity. There are also plenty of practical storage spaces for smaller items. On the tail is a vertically arranged combination lamp equipped with energy-saving LEDs and a U-shaped signature line. The instrument gauges, which have cylindrical gauge housing, alert the driver to key speed, engine, and fuel levels. The new Swift features a black interior with a white pearl accent and a dimple pattern to create a fresher look. The front seats feature an optimized shape and heightened side bolster to offer firm support. The new Swift is equipped with LED projector headlamps with LED position lamps. The new Swift also features an SRS dual airbag system that deploys airbags both at the front and side of the driver and passenger seats for better protection and peace of mind. The all-new Swift gives you the freedom to express yourself through several stylish color options. For those who want to show off their fun side, choose between fervent red and speedy blue metallic. For those who want to convey their more edgy personality, there's pure white pearl, premium silver metallic, mineral gray metallic, and super black pearl. It's fun. It's edgy. It makes you go, wow. Fall in love with the all-new Suzuki Swift. That was the 2018 Suzuki Swift, our second featured model here on Car Review. 
And that's Auto Focus this week. We hope you have found this edition of your automobile electronic magazine informative as well as entertaining. You can also check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. Until the next time, this has been your host, Butch Gamboa.